I've always tried to believe that you need to be able to understand the story without hearing the words. And that all comes down to visuals. As a director of photography on Riverdale, the main thing I'm in charge of is the aesthetic of the show, working with the lighting and the camera work. I would like to think that I bring a lot more to it. I try to work with the directors to really like tell the story and, and be as present in the process of filmmaking as possible. How the visuals are told, where the camera is, how it's placed, how the actors are represented, what the color is, what the contrast is. But I think at the core of what it is, is your responsibility is the image. you know whose blood this is, Mummy? When I got hired onto Riverdale, the showrunner asked me to, you know, he said he, he was really happy with everything, he loved the, the work that I've done, but the main thing he wanted to make sure I carried through was always having atmosphere in every single shot. Everything else that came after that was open for discussion. We're looking through a bunch of comic books that Roberto had done, and we found Archie Afterlife, which was basically him fighting zombies and that sort of thing. As we're reading the comic, we noticed that there's like, these very bold colors, like just walk in a room and the room was all bright red and then there would be a bright blue wash coming in from the door and then the moonlight would be really saturated and all these different things that were just kind of a departure from what the regular Archie was. So we embraced that and we really tried to play with this look that was saturated, contrasty and um, atmospheric. Race over her Harvey Bridge to Dead Man's Curve. First one back here wins. The Drag Race episode in season two was a ton of fun to do, and there were a ton of shots in that that were really hard to pull off that were great, that I loved. One of the most powerful ones to me was Cheryl doing the flags. You know, and she'd walk out between the two cars, we had our Technocrane just kind of pushing in after her, and Madeline's timing with things is always like, impeccable. She's perfect with the camera. She knows it inside and out. She would always know exactly when to turn to face the camera, where, like, how, how to work with it. And we just had these close these shots that were just pushing into Madeline and she would turn around for the drag race, drop the flags, and it would just work perfectly. The average day on set is, doesn't really change from show to show. It's the same task that I'm faced with and the same challenges that I'm faced with, which are trying to tell the story uh, visually within the quality that we're after Action. and as honest as we can make it within the time that we have, which is generally very little for television. What I've always tried to do is, is be truthful to the script of what that story is, what that moment is, what that scene is, what those characters are going through, and try to find a way to represent that visually. 